Hi everyone, this video is about the Casio FX39 which first came on the market in 1978. And although the FX39 looks similar to its predecessor, the 29, it was the first Casio calculator to support operator precedence, uh, parentheses and hyperbolic functions. It was also the first cal uh, Casio calculator to have an inverse button that allowed uh, the functions of other buttons to be overloaded. So it was really a significant leap forward. And physically, the FX39 feels very solid. It has a brushed aluminum front plate and weighs 177 grams, including two AA batteries. And the calculator has a green vacuum fluorescent display, or VFD, that can display eight digits plus a two-digit exponent. And it has a physical on-off switch on its left edge. Uh, and another switch to select between grid degrees, radians or gradients on its right. Uh, the keyboard is similar to modern Casio calculators. It has a four color-coded sections and the keys have that typical bouncy feeling of a Casio keyboard. It also came in with a leatherette case uh, with the Casio logo embossed on the front and also a small operation manual. A big new feature the FX39 brought was operator precedence. So if I type 2 plus 3 times 4 and then equals, uh, we take it for granted that the answer would be 14. Uh, but if I do the same calculation on the Casio uh, memory 8A from 1974, uh, the result is actually different. Uh, and the reason is that the FX39 applies the multiplication operation uh, before the addition. So most of the functions of the FX39 are pretty straightforward, but there are a number of interesting quirks. So one is the exponent key, which also doubles as a pi key, and its function is context specific. So say if I type exponent uh, by itself, I get the pi value, uh, but if I first type a mantissa and then exponent, uh, it brings up a two digit exponent value. Uh, the calculator also supports fractional arithmetic via a special separation character. So say if I type uh, 1 fraction, 30 fraction, 45 and equals, uh, this will get simplified as 1 and 2 thirds. And you can do fractional arithmetic with that. And fractions can have up to three digit numerators and denominators. And there's also a somewhat unusual uh, x to the power of 1 over y key. Uh, so say if I wanted to type, uh, find the cube root of 23, I'd do this by keying that in uh, and then hitting the x to the 1 over the y and then 3 uh, equals and the result is, is 3. Uh, the calculator also supports uh, sexagesimal values. So say if I type uh, 10.45, uh, I can convert that to base 60 uh, to get hours, minutes and second values. And the calculator also supports uh, six levels of parentheses, which I guess is enough for most users. And it has a standard deviation mode uh, where you can enter a series of numbers and calculate the mean, standard deviation and so on. Interestingly, the calculator also has some undocumented features that involve the overloading of arithmetic operations. Uh, so the inverse multiply key actually calculates combinations. Uh, so I can type in 3 and then uh, inverse multiply 2 uh, equals to get 6. Uh, and inverse divide uh, cal calculates permutations. So in summary, the FX39 was really a massive leap forward for arithmetic mode calculators in 1978. And I think Casio really nailed this model. And what is really striking is how modern this calculator still feels, uh, despite being over 40 years old. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful.